Welcome back, awesome Ashley fans and subscribers. I am very to have the Capybara Red exclusive uh, bike stroke action figure from Acid Rain World. When this was on pre-order, I could not afford to get it because of my financial situation, because of COVID and lack of money and paying rent and food and living overseas and blah, 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 all this uncertainty. But since then, you know, my job settled down and I've managed to find it in China and I paid more than when it was on pre-order, unfortunately. <laughs> but never mind, at least I've got it in my collection now. Uh, so I'm gonna have a quick look at this. Mainly I'm gonna look at the color and the figure, not so much the bike, because this is the same as the Grumpus. Such the videos, uh, just the color's different. And it's got some stickers in there too, so you can, or stroke deco, decals, you can make the bike individualized for your own taste or liking, but I'm not gonna stick those on. Okay, where are we? It's exciting time, we'll not open this yet, so let's see. Here we go, so we have a sheet tip. Oh, there's loads of stuff in these. Um... In these, I think decals or stickers here. Yeah. There's logo stickers set, loads of stuff. I do like that. So you've got there how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight. You've got a lot. Um, and then the stuff itself, let me have a look. So let me have a look at the bike and the color first. So I would describe it as a dark red. There is a, there is inking in it. So it's a touch weathered, but it's mainly inking as opposed to sort of dirty weathering. You can see that in the grooves on the red, also in the engine, you can see some as well. Looks really nice, has to be said. So that's cool. But let me look at the figure. That's really what I want to look at. Bike looks cool. And if you've not seen the others, there are attachments that you can put either side. That will make it look like a bike from Akira. And apart from the front and a windscreen as well. So it is rather cool, it has to be said. Okay, let's look at the uh, figure. In terms of the bike, I like the bike. Um, I think there's a, not as perhaps well designed for putting the front parts and the windscreen on and whatnot as it could have been, but it's a really nice looking bike. Okay, so figure. Really nice head sculpt, looks really good. I know some people complained about the waist and the hips on this, saying they're too exposed, but I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so, figure has articulated hair, so the hair is on a ball joint, so it can go quite far up and down, and it can twist. If it wasn't a ball joint, it would have snapped off. Um, great sculpt on the head. I think the sculpt's really nice, actually, if I'm honest. Oh, fantastic. There's no ratchet on the ankles. So they will get a nice neutral position. The jacket sort of zipped open is great. And then she's wearing like a sort of yellow vest underneath. Sculpting athletically, you know, uh, sculpted, not sort of huge, big breasted, impractical on the figure. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so the head came off straight away. Left and right, side to side from the neck and the head, and a good down and up. Shoulders won't be great because this new system they've got, I'm not keen on. I like some parts of it, so not too bad, nearly flat, but it's also a, a joint here, which is adds some articulation. However, the biceps, on the other hand, these are going to be phenomenal. 
bite. I mean, look, if you can get her hands behind the head, she gets a tighter bicep bend than I do. I reckon. Let's have a look. What are you reckon about the same? No, if I do this, but then maybe hers is slightly tighter than mine. Really good in the bicep bend, it means she will hold the gun particularly well, particularly with the shoulders doing this. Uh, waist, she has a it looks like there's trunk articulation as well as waist, but I can't seem to. Okay, there's a small trunk movement there, but the jacket might be getting in the way, but don't quote me on that. It could well just be that I'm pushing too hard. Uh, but she has from the waist, and this is a, a barbell joint on the waist, it looks like. So she can go really far backwards, pretty far forwards, and a bit side to side, and obviously she can turn. Hips, let's see. The sculpt doesn't look great for going outwards. Not great. And it sort of gives this nasty sort of cut out shape in the crutch. But still pretty good articulation. Forwards is really good. And backwards is really good. So basically you can get a full front splits. Very, very nice. It feels like the hip's going to pop out of joint, so I don't want that to happen just at the moment. Uh, she has a thigh twist. I should say that uh, the hands twist around. The left hand is gun articulation. Sorry, left hand is this articulation. And right hand is the same. Mm, interesting. I thought she'd have gun articulation on the right. And there's no spare hands in there that I can see. Okay, double kneecaps, skinny legs. I'm expecting to see wonderful things. Look at that. Really, really tight. And then they've got this great system on the ankles where you can twist, you can pivot that way as well, and you get a great tippy toe, really good tippy toe. And you get, let me see, uh, an okay dorsal flexation, but the tongue of the sort of boots will get in the way slightly, but still it's pretty decent. She is a great looking figure. And this helmet here is an alternative head, so you pop off that, you pop off, you pop on this one, and you get there of a sort of a, a bike mode look. Though with the collars and the jacket, this looks a bit strange to a degree. Okay. But Pretty nice looking as well. Okay, so riding the bike is quite easy. There are foot plates on the back. Just got to get both sides to match up to the foot plates. And then try and get to sit down at the same time. Same time, which is not as easy as it sounds. Get the hands forwards as well while I'm here. We need to get her legs even more backwards, maybe. Okay, now she is uh, sitting down nicely. Then we can lean her forwards via the trunk. And hopefully she will reach the handles of both sides. And she does look pretty damn good. Sits in that really, really nicely. In fact, if I change back to a Proper head. She looks even better. Okay, let's take her off there and just have a look how she is with her gun. And I should note that the uh, 
little kickstand here does fold underneath as well and it, the bike does wheel so this is going to be seen before it does come apart at the front so if you're good at sort of wiring electrics you can actually put a um led in there which would be pretty damn cool get that lighting coming up Okay, let's see how she holds the gun. Bear in mind she hasn't got the gun articulation in the wrist, but acid rain world figures normally are fantastic at holding their guns. And with her really good bicep articulation, she is no exception. You want a piece of me? Too high. Okay. Very, very nice. Very, very atmospheric. So the bike I've liked anyway from the first first version, and I think this red looks even nicer. And that sort of Akira look just seals it for me. The figure. Now, if I'm really honest, I really, really like her. Um, I think the sculpt is amazing. The articulated hair is nice. The face looks cool. Paintwork is nice. And the only thing I don't like is what other people have said is about these hips. If you look... I mean, can I? Let me see. Yeah, you can, hi you can hide the hips by twisting. If I twist so the hips look like that, there's a big gap on the back. And if I close the back like that, I then get the gap on the front there and it doesn't appear to push in any further on this uh, left leg of hers but aside from that I think she's an amazing figure really easy to pose fantastic ankle joints she looks great in red um, she's a great piece and going up in value all the time because you know there's only a limited run of these and I'm glad I managed to get one so I think she's awesome and also because I've got everything so far that they've made uh, not that I'm a completionist, but you know, started so I'll try and finish, though money's running out. Okay, so this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out, and I'm going to pose her first before I say anything else. Or to have a hold of the gun, I should say. She has actually got these great rubbery hands, so it's really easy for her to hold stuff. This is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back soon in more Awesome Action Toys videos. For you guys check out my other videos because i've got loads of content on my channel loads of acid rain joy toy uh, boss fight studios other brands and mostly 19 scale plus some others take care stay happy keep collecting bye bye